let me tell you viewers, she did a phenomenal job doing that. She looked at the pictures, we did it up, we did it down, we finally decided on down, and she used this fabulous new curling iron that I have to buy, which you can come to Got Beauty and get, that made my hair look like this. Pure talent right here, Patty Hamby. And we are going into the summer season, spring season, and especially at home, if you don't have time to go grab flowers, fill it with fruit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even have to be monochromatic, it can be any kind of fruit you've got in the fridge. Mix it up a little bit, and you've mm -hmm. done whole and slices. Yes. Now, trick, slice, slice the fruit, put it on the top so the aroma kind of, you know. Oh, carries out. Yep. Okay, yes. I love that, that is darling. Lo I, I love this too. Very Starting with linens, uh, a lot of times brides go out and rent one single linen to put on the tables. Mm -hmm. And so we're suggesting you go out to look at kind of the remnants at the fabric store and layer. You can pick different types of fabrics. So we've got a stripe here, we've just got a pattern, and then we've got one with a little bit of glitter on it, and it all works. But it gives some texture to the room. It makes it really nice. And a great money saver there if yeah. you're just picking up the remnants once left over Absolutely. and putting it together. I love that. Yes, so I did number one for those winter weddings. And we really love to see a lot of white and cream in the winters. It gives a crisp winter look. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Um, second idea, bring some of the outdoors in. These are just local, these are shapes that you can pick up at the local craft store. Mm -hmm. And you cover them with the moss that you can get at the craft store. And then fill them with cranberries and water. Put them in different sizes shape basis and depending on the size of your table you may want to do you know larger scale or smaller scale. Right, right. Great idea for, for actual tables that guests sit at and for the buffets. Find out what their favorite treat is. Now whether it's Krispy Kreme, M&M's, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, whatever it is go with it. And then it's just a personalized detail to end your big evening with. Very cost effective, great idea, and the guests love it. Thanks for watching this week. This is fake snow. And they've just filled the vase with the fake snow. And then for all of you people who love to decorate your Christmas trees, which I am one of them, uh, the beads, the traditional beads that you put on your tree, put them in a vase, make them a decoration on a table. It looks great. Great, great, great. This is a bonus. I am sitting here reading the wedding story of Sai and Angie, and uh, I highly recommend doing this for your big day. Use it as your sign-in book, or put mini storybooks at every single one of the tables for your guests to enjoy while they're dining. This page is about loving family, and it's got the picture with Angie and her mother. Let's talk about centerpieces and candles. Candles are a big hit right now, and a lot of facilities don't allow actual burning candles into the room, so these are battery powered candles. We're gonna show you in just a minute what they look like turned on. But I love this centerpiece. Now this can be used with the battery powered candles or just a basic tea light. This centerpiece is out of a very classic wrought iron and it's actually, let's talk about scale here, is to scale. It's big, it's bold, but it still allows people to talk to each other through the table. This is one of my favorite items here. I really, really like this. And they've got lots of different vases here to choose from, but go do a little shopping, pick out your favorite vase that matches the theme of your event, and then actually use it as the centerpieces on your table and fill them with fresh flowers. This one is a little bit more contemporary in design. It has got, uh, you know, just a little bit of flowers coming out of the top on a, on a slant. So that's what gives it the contemporary angle. This is a little bit more traditional. At the event, that was the very last thing we served to the guests to end the evening, was the biscotti yeah, with the, the cider. To the beginning and the end, wrapped up in a nice Came full circle. Ball. Yes, it was so cute. It was very so neat. great. That's a great idea. And the guests really liked that. So um, that was a really creative way to introduce the theme to the guests. It's all about design and consistency. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted my hair down. Being in this industry a lot, a lot of girls put their hair up, and I actually did it up for bridals the day before, but I wanted it down because it was a more natural look. Because it looks so luscious. That's yeah, why was, you wanted it down. <laughs> and really, I mean, the Got Beauty team, they did my hair and makeup, and it turned out fabulous. Did they just swarm in on you? They did. <laughs> I, I had five people on either end trying to get me out the door to this wedding, and they did such a good job. And they've got over 150 different specialty linens here to choose from. Get creative. Think outside of the box, look around your home, see what you have, and then come down to Diamond and check out what they have. It really is phenomenal.